This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Lift the hood safety latch and raise the hood upwards. Then support it with the prop rod. Brake and clutch fluid level. The brake master cylinder is mounted on the front of the power booster unit in the engine compartment. The hydraulic clutch master cylinder used on manual transaxle vehicles is located next to the brake master cylinder. The fluid level should be maintained between the maximum and minimum lines marked on the side of the reservoirs. If the fluid level is low, wipe the top of the reservoir and cap with a clean rag to prevent contamination of the system when the cap is unscrewed. Unscrew the cap from the reservoir. While the reservoir cap is off, check the fluid for contamination. If rust deposits, dirt particles, or water droplets are present, the system should be properly drained and refilled. Top up the reservoir with the specified type of new brake fluid until the fluid reaches the maximum line. After filling the reservoir to the proper level, install the cap and make sure the cap is fully seated to prevent fluid leakage or contamination. Engine oil level. Pull the dipstick out of the tube and wipe all of the oil away from the end with a clean rag or paper towel. Insert the clean dipstick all the way back into the tube and pull it out again. Note the oil at the end of the dipstick. The level should be between the lower and upper marks on the dipstick. To add oil, unscrew the oil filler cap and pour in the correct type of oil. Use a funnel to prevent oil spills. After adding oil, Wait a few minutes to allow the level to stabilize, then pull out the dipstick and check the level again. Add more oil if required until it reaches the upper mark. Do not overfill the engine. Insert the dipstick and install the filler cap, tightening it by hand only. Coolant level. A white coolant reservoir located in the front of the engine compartment is connected by a hose to the base of the radiator cap. 
The coolant level should be checked regularly. It must be between the maximum and minimum lines on the tank. If it isn't, allow the fluid in the tank to cool. Then remove the cap from the reservoir and add coolant to bring the level midway between the marks. If it is necessary to open the radiator cap, wait until the system has cooled completely, then slowly unscrew it. If you hear hissing or any steam escapes, wait until the system has cooled further, then remove the cap. If only a small amount of coolant is required to bring the system up to the proper level, water can be used. However, repeated additions of water will dilute the antifreeze and water solution. Install the radiator cap and reservoir cap securely. Drive the vehicle, then recheck the coolant level. Manual Transaxle Lubricant Level The manual transaxle does not have a dipstick. To check the fluid level, raise the front and rear of the vehicle and support it securely on jack stands. Remove the check fill plug located just behind the driver's side drive axle. Reach into the hole to check the level. The fluid should be even with the bottom of the filler plug hole. If the transaxle needs more lubricant, use a gear oil nozzle or pump to add lubricant until it is up to the bottom of the filler plug hole. Install the check fill plug and tighten it to the specified torque setting. Lower the car to the ground. Windshield washer fluid level. Fluid for the windshield washer system is stored in a plastic reservoir located on the right side of the engine compartment just behind the headlight. Remove the cap and pull out the dipstick to check the windshield washer fluid level. Fill the windshield washer reservoir as necessary. Push the cap securely onto the opening when finished.